guys you're welcome back so this christian had a discussion with a muslim and during the discussion something amazing happened so let's find out what's your name again my name is gusan gusan okay gusan. In the brain. gusan can i permission to interview you for youtube and all media purposes yes you're muslim yes i'm muslim how do you become a muslim um you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's, that's pretty much it. You convert, you take shahada. You say shahadun la ilaha illallah, shahadun muhammad and rasulullah, which means like you believe there's only one God, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Prophet Muhammad is his last and final messenger. Are you going to heaven when you die? Allah alam. Only Allah knows. A Muslim has no assurance of salvation. That is, he doesn't know whether he's going to heaven or hell until he stands before God on Judgment Day. He rests in his own righteousness to save him. He's no different than the Jews of the time of the Apostle Paul, who went about to establish their own righteousness, being ignorant of the righteousness which is of God. So you don't know? I'm, you know, I'm not. You know, only God knows. And at the end, the goal is the gift, like is paradise. And of course we don't know, only Allah knows. So on mm. Judgment Day, how are you going to do? paradise is heaven, Paul. Huh? Depends on how I do in this world, you know, if I do my five daily prayers. Right now I'm fasting, I'm currently fasting right now for Ramadan. If I'm fasting, I'm doing my five daily prayers because we don't believe, you know, life is, you go get married, go work and then die. There's no point in life like that or like, you know. Um, That's for, true, there's no point in life because of no death. Point in life mm -hmm. like that, yeah. do, you, do you accept Moses as a prophet? He's our prophet, Musa. So you, you you appreciate the Ten Commandments? What is it? What is the Ten Commandments? You shall not kill. You shall not steal. You shall no, not commit no, no. adultery. This, yeah, this is one hundred. Any religion you can't kill, steal. You can't do this. Yeah. This is one hundred percent. Yes, this is incorrect. So you know. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to do my best to try and show him that repentance can't save him on Judgment Day. Repentance won't work in man's court, it won't work in God's court on the day of judgment. This isn't easy because a Muslim's hope is in his own repentance. That's his means of salvation. And he usually leans to idolatry to justify it by saying God is nothing like a judge in a court of law, when the Bible says he is. If you're in court and you're guilty of violating some law, like you've robbed a bank and shot a guard and he died, and you say, Judge, I'm guilty, but I want to tell you I'm so sorry, I'll never do it again. Will the judge let you go just because you're sorry and you won't do it again? He will not let you go. No, because you're, you're under the, the power of the law. He's got to make sure justice is done. So being sorry mm. and saying I won't do it again won't release you from man's court. That's true. But God will forgive you. Why? Allah will forgive you because he is the most merciful. So you just got to say sorry and I won't do it again. You repent. So Hitler can repent. 11 million people die and he's just washed clean instantly because God doesn't care about justice. If you repented and you believed in Allah, yeah. So that doesn't work in man's court. It can't work in God's court. Man isn't more just than God. God is holy and perfect and righteous. And God is the, unimaginable too. Yeah. Now you accept Jesus as a prophet. He's our prophet, yes. And a prophet cannot lie. Uh, um, That's what Islam says. A prophet cannot lie. So the prophet Jesus said, whoever looks at a woman and lusts for her, has committed adultery already with her in his heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Are you homosexual? No, I'm straight. It's hara. We can't be gay in Islam. Yeah. Have you yeah. ever looked at a woman with sexual desire? Well, no, I mean, we're human, you know. I mean, it's not wrong to, like, you know, look at a woman like you want to marry her, you know. Let's just say if I want to marry her. No, I'm not talking about that. You know what I'm talking it's, about. Well, it's a human nature, you know what I mean? Yeah, so you have. You're like the rest of us. It's red blood in your veins. <laughs> so just fess up, Goose. Come on. Now, how many lies have you told in your life? Is the thing, though, as a Muslim, you can't really expose your sins. Yes, you can. You can as a Muslim. Well, you can. You just confess them to God. Yeah. So, how many lies have you told? I'm not sure, I don't know. So quite a few, you're like the rest of us. There's, there's we're all human, you know, we all make mistakes. We're not here to, we're no oh, one's it's perfect. It's hard to get you to fess up. <laughs> you know, the Bible says, He that covers the sin shall not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. So have you ever stolen something in your life? No. Have you ever used God's name in vain, even once in your whole life? Well, no, I never, never did that. No. On Judgment Day, when you stand before the Creator, knowing that you've committed adultery in your heart by lusting after woman and that you've lied are you going to be innocent or guilty of breaking god's law well that comes to me if i repented in this no, world are you going to be innocent or guilty 
Like, what do you mean innocent or guilty? Like when you stand before a judge, you plead innocent or guilty of breaking the law. Let me help you out. You're going to be guilty like the rest of us. Well, yeah, of course. You know, everyone's, everyone's in sin, you know. No one's going to be sinless in this world, you know what I mean? You know what death is according to the Bible? It says what death is. It's wages. Have you ever heard that? The wages of sin is death. No, I never Yeah, God's that. paying you in death for your sins. It's like a judge looks at a heinous criminal that's murdered multiple women, and he won't fess up, and the judge says, you're guilty, and we're going to pay you in the death sentence. This is your wages. This is what's due to you. This is what we're paying you. Mm -hmm. And Goose... Sin is so serious in the eyes of a holy God, he's given you the death sentence. Your death will be evidence to you that God is deadly serious about sin. Yes. And on judgment day, you're going to be guilty like the rest of us. So will you go to heaven or hell? I told you, only Allah knows that. Well, let me tell you what scripture says. Perhaps you're thinking you shouldn't quote the Bible to a Muslim. It's meaningless. Oh, no, it's not. The Bible says of itself, it's quick and powerful, sharp and a two-edged sword, goes right into the marrow of the bones. So if you listen carefully, you hear a lot of scripture and what I'm saying, and I know God honors this word. The Bible says all liars live their part in the lake of fire. It says no adulterer, no thief, no fornicator, no blasphemer will inherit God's kingdom because this creator we're talking about is holy and perfect, and he'll by no means clear the guilty. Now, do you know what the prophet Jesus did? So we wouldn't have to go to hell. I know Christians believe he died for our sins, but as Muslims, we don't believe for that. We well, don't let, me, let me share the gospel with you and get your thoughts on it. See if it makes sense to you. Because we've been through the commandments to show us that we need a savior, we need to be forgiven. What you're resting in is you can't even rest in a man's court. Your repentance, you think, will save you. I'm sorry, God, I'll never do it again. Judge won't even let you go from man's court by saying that. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Of course you should be sorry. And of course you shouldn't do it again. So let, let me share the gospel with you. The gospel is good news. That's what it means. And the good news is that God destroyed your greatest enemy, death, through the Savior. He provided a Savior. You and I broke God's law, the Ten Commandments. Jesus came and paid the fine. Because mm -hmm. if you're in court and you've got speeding fines and someone pays them, a judge will let you go on the basis the fine was paid by someone else. You've got speeding fines, judges, you're out of here. Someone paid your fine. Well, the Bible says Jesus paid our fine on that cross 2,000 years ago in full. That's why he said it is finished just before he died. And then he rose from the dead, defeated death. And if you'll simply repent and trust in Jesus, not your goodness, not your repentance, but trust in God's mercy, the God-given Savior, you've got a promise from the God who cannot lie, he'll forgive your sins. Not because you're good, not because you're religious, but because God is good and kind and rich in mercy. That's the gospel. You don't have to strive to earn everlasting life. You can't do it. It comes as a free gift of God. You can never earn mercy. It only comes by God's kindness. It's like as Muslims, we don't believe, we believe Jesus is a prophet because... And he cannot lie. Well, yeah, of course, we, we don't believe like... So when he said it is finished, he meant the debt has been paid. You don't have to get religious. This is great news for every Muslim. You don't have to strive and pray and fast and do all these things. It comes as a free gift, but you live a life that's pleasing to God, not to try and bribe him to forgive your sins, but out of gratitude for the fact that he forgives you in Christ. Man, please think about what we talked about. This is so important. I don't want to look at your eyes on Judgment Day and see you're still in your sins. And you'd say, why didn't you slap my face that day in California so I'd listen to the gospel? This is the creator of the universe, the one you profess to love, providing a savior so you could be forgiven. It's his kind act towards you. It's his love expressed yes. towards you. He doesn't want you to perish on Judgment Day. So please think about what we talked about. Will you do that for me? Um, I'll see, but, you know, I don't know. For me, like, I really believe in Islam. Like, cause, especially because we believe as Muslims, like, Jesus is a human. We can't really believe, like, a human is God. Like, we can't believe, like, a human is, like... I'm not asking you to believe that he's God. Jesus said to Peter, who do men say that I am? And Peter said, some say you're a prophet. Some say that you're Elijah. He said, but who do you say I am? And he said, you're the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus said this, blessed are you, Peter, for flesh and blood didn't reveal this to you, but my father who is in heaven. So you can't believe who Jesus is unless the creator reveals it to you. And that'll come to you if you obey the gospel. Repent, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins, and you'll receive the gift of God, the gift of the Holy Spirit, which is eternal life cannot bribe God to forgive your sins by your religious works. It comes by His mercy as a free gift. I'm so pleased you've been honorable and, and listened to what I've said. You've been very patient with me and I'm very grateful and I trust that you'll think about what we talked about.
Okay? Thank you so much. Can I give you a book that I've written? What is, what is it about? It's called Scientific Facts in the Bible. Yeah. Great to meet you, man. Thank you so much. You have a good one, okay? Thank you. All right. I don't believe that. Did you say you're, you're a former Muslim? Yeah. And you're a Christian. What's the difference? Um, I didn't have the Holy Spirit. I didn't have any relationship with uh, God because you go in the mat and you pray for five times and that is all. I never felt God is with me. Could you recite Surah Al-Fatiha if you were a Muslim? Yes. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Maliki, Amuddin. You said it good actually, that was good mashallah, that was nice. Well she's given testimony that God is real and he can yeah. forgive you in Christ, is that right? Yes, yeah, I have eternity. Real? Wow, the woman really surprised me. Like the statement she made, she said she never felt God. Or maybe I didn't put it well. Please, if I didn't quote her right, please let me know. She said she never felt God, and because until she came to Christianity, that's when she felt the presence of God. She, you know, felt God a lot, and she said she just go there, pray five times daily, and she was able to, you know, prove that truly, truly, she was once a Muslim by you no, know, reciting some Quran verses. So I really enjoyed the whole conversation about you know Jesus, letting the guy understand that Jesus is the Son of God. Like I thought, the paradise may is, the meaning of paradise was heaven, or um, I don't know. I thought that was the meaning of paradise. So if you say okay, all Muslims believe that they are all going to paradise. So I is trying to say that there's nothing like heaven, hell in Islam, well. <laughs> <sighs> that's serious well this was really interesting to watch guys i really enjoyed every bit of this thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one bye